Hello everybody and welcome back to Fairy Fencer F, Advent Dark Force. On the last episode, we uh We had a battle with a guy who we have done one battle with before. And I went back and replaced all my items. I went from 30 what 32 30, 35,000 to 440 gold. Uh, just from replacing those items. You realize how expensive just replacing those are? It was expensive just to replace those. I took all of my gold. Wow. We've arrived. Huh? This is the place? There's nothing here. What does this mean, Aaron? Bang! Your sword! On it! Amazing. So this is the goddess's sanctuary. Bang! Ready the faith drop. The goddess will descend soon. Got it. It's finally happening. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, whoa, who gave you guys permission to do this? Jeez, you're really reviving the goddess? Get real! There's no way Lady Mariana will allow that! <sighs> Mariana and her bodyguards? There are many Dorfus soldiers as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Now what? You scared? Doggy? Say, didn't you get fired? Lady <laughs> Mariana rehired me, you traitor! I'll cut you to pieces right now! Zoggy! Stand down. Yes, Lady Mariana. Mariana? She's cute. Don't underestimate her. Despite her look, she's another one of the four heavenly czars. She can definitely hold her own. I must give credit where credit is due. I'm impressed a slovenly fencer such as yourself managed to make it this far. But attempting to harness godly power through an individual is the height of absurdity. Power belongs to those who can wield it. Dorfa will use that power to create a new world and rule over it. The citizenry will enjoy their new lives under Dorfa's rule. And Dorfa will bring smiles and joy to its loyal followers. And to those children who live in the most unfortunate of circumstances as well. Shut up! I don't want to hear your bullcrap. There's no friggin' way I'd live under someone else's rule. Then you must die. Cholera. Fair eyes. Sure thing, Lady Mariana. I call upon the power of the heavens. Let's go! Let me guess. Let's do this. Ha, <laughs> look, Zai's here. Of course Zai is here. Why wouldn't he be? Executing. Let's go. Ready? My turn. According to my calculations, this should um this should still make sure I can fairize. Here we go. Hmm. Never mind. However, you can get out. I have no interest in you being here. Fire! No way! Get ready! Yahoo! Your guys' accuracy is so horrible. Here we go. Maybe it's based on damage. I know that missing really hurts it. I'm talking about being able to fair eye. Join the cosmos. Ready? Get ready. I know it does also rise when you take damage. Transformation complete. All right, let's go. 
Okay, Tiara's turn is after mine, so I'll use this without worrying about it. If she lives, I can just use Tiara to get himself up. Oh yeah, she'll also Wait, did she get the health back? My turn. Where is Fang? Fang, where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, you're all the way up there. Really, Fang? You guys were so close together. How did you get all the way out there? <sighs> I didn't switch you up. How did you get all the way over there? Ready? New data. I'm so confused. I'm not gonna waste my items. Here I come. Here we go. Never you. My turn. Execute the Monkey King. Take this, ultimate. Ah! You have water and lightning defense. Executing Soul Crusher. Impossible. To push me this far, perhaps a demonstration is in order. I will put everything into this final blow. Now then, for the power of the heavens! Get ready! Ready? Let's finish this! <laughs> Let's make this interesting! <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I don't need to do that. Only two people took any serious damage. New data. And I was smart enough to block with Fang. Okay, so I'll just attack. Because I'm going to use Sherman to kill her instead of wasting items. Let's go, Bahas! Now then. How about this? Deal with this. It's my turn. Execute it. Are you all right? Here we go. Execute the Monkey King. Take this, ultimate. Ah! Get ready. You still got this. Ready? Now. Let's do this. <laughs> All according to plan. Okay. Let's just make sure I stay close enough. Executing burning strike. You're weak to fire, so this is gonna hurt. in terms of physical power, but she has a lot more health. 
I wonder if I can steal something. Well, okay. She was just bulk. You she wasn't power. strong. Level up. I need to become even stronger. Yes, I finally maxed out Sylph. Now I can switch. What? Start working on another one. How? How could I lose? This world and the Furies don't belong to you. I'll never let you have them. My life. Is fading. Your teacher needs you. There's more of them. Duh. Bang! I got separated from the others. This sucks. Is it over? Bang! Over there! Uh, Tiara? Tiara! Come on, Tiara! Stay with me! Bang! It's okay. Thank you. You're just kidding, right? Right? Tiara! Tiara! I can't even feel Kiwi's presence. Tiara's already... Why? Why? This have to happen. Bang. Nothing for her whatsoever. No matter what happens, promise me that you'll never fall in love with me. You don't need to act so standoffish, Fang. Come on, Fang. That goes for you too. It's a big no-no to swallow your face. Your manliness has gone up. Amazing. 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 You're so amazing. If you get so worked up, you we'll just play right into his hands. I have a dream. I need to collect the Furies to make that dream a reality. But before we leave... Weary Traveler, you must be exhausted. I have just brewed some chamomile tea. You are welcome to partake of it with me. Wake up! Where are we? We woke up in the Kavari Desert before sunrise. So how did we get here? Is this... the Soul Plains? Why are we... Damn it! What the hell is going on? Is it just us here? And where's Tiara? We have to look for her! She just passed out earlier, so we can still save her! Bang. She's a fencer! Her, her body is obviously much stronger than a normal person's! Bang. I don't know how else to say this, but you saw what happened to her. Tiara is dead. Not even a fencer can come back from the dead. <sighs> anyway, let's look around. This might be an enemy trap, so we should be careful. Yeah. I feel absolutely nothing for her. She just had all the best healing skills, that's all. But I don't think she's dead. Even if she is dead, she'll be back. Hey Fang, I've been thinking about what happened to us. What? Did you figure something out? Hmm, never mind. It's 
ironic, isn't it? The Soul Plains was where we first met Tiara. She made a terrible first impression. She took the fury away and didn't even thank us when we saved her from that fencer. Hey, wait a sec. Isn't that a fury right over there? You're right. Q <gasps> right replay. Next to it. Tiara? Why is Tiara here? Was she alive the whole time? What's going on? Why do you know my name? Who are you? Don't mess with me. I know Tiara when I see her, and you're clearly her. Wait. Is this some kind of prank? I can't believe how rotten you are. You made me worry over nothing. How rude. You aren't making any sense. Just what are you talking about? Perhaps you are what's known as a stalker? Huh? I have heard stories of pitiful people who become so obsessed with someone that they start fantasizing that they're lovers. Oh, please, you're not even famous. I'm Fang, and this is Aaron. Now quit joking around. Oh, my, how scary. I suppose being this beautiful comes with its own set of challenges. Well, why don't you calm yourselves and have some tea? I just brewed it. I already know that's paralytic tea. There's no way I'm falling for that again. <laughs> How did you... I knew it. You two are extremely creepy. Even for stalkers. I no longer wish to be involved in this discussion. Now, if you'll excuse me, good day. Hey, wait, Tiara! She's gone. What's her deal? She was seriously acting like she didn't know us. Do you think she's the real Tiara? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't understand why we're at the Soul Plains or why Tiara is alive when she's supposed to be dead. But even still, I know that's the real her. Yeah, I agree. It's just a hunch, but I think we're in the... <gasps> Let's go! Tiara is probably being attacked by a fencer! A fencer? That happened the first time we met her, too. That's right. Fang, it's you're not same. catching on. Everything is the same. Come on, Fang. I do your dance, but you should be brighter than that. It should be over here. Hoodlum. It's customary to encounter someone like me at this point. Now shut up and hand over that fury. How droll. I have nothing to give to someone as boring and uninspired as you. Tch, then I guess I gotta use force to clean my prize. I may as well snag you while I'm at it, too. <laughs> I can't wait to see that cute face of yours after it's soaked with tears. <laughs> I wanna see that, too. <laughs> I remember that line. It was funny. Huh? Who the hell are you guys? Huh? You are still pursuing me? Just as I assumed. You are definitely a stalker. She's still calling me that. Huh? Isn't that theory different from the one we originally found? Ah, uh, you're right. I wonder why. Yeah, I think the first one we found was Sylph. What the heck? Are they with you? Yes, that's correct. If you want my fury, then defeat him first. Mr. Stalker, if you want to impress me, now's the time to show off your skills. I think she's treating us even worse than the first time we met her. Here I come. I'm really not cool with any of this, but I guess I gotta jump right in. This is freaking annoying. Okay, yeah. well. Not done yet! Oh, it made him a slightly tougher. Next! Slightly. Jeez, what a fight! <laughs> All bark and no bite. Huh? You are rather strong. It seems I misjudged you. Do you really not know who I am? Have you lost your memory or something? You are clearly mistaken in harboring terrible delusions. But in this instance, I suppose I can overlook that. At any rate, I have an idea. You want to make us your servants, right? Oh my, you are quite perceptive. Traveling alone would leave me vulnerable to brigands, not unlike the one you just dispatched. Allying with a stalker like you would serve both our interests, 
Wouldn't you agree? I'm not a stalker, you stupid broad. How many times do I have to tell you my name is Fang? Keep saying stupid crap like that and I'll slap the taste out of your mouth. <laughs> How dare you speak to me so violently? Oh my, this is rather new. And here comes Tiara's sadomasochistic tendencies. Jeez, some touching reunion this turned out to be. Anyway, let's find a place to stay. There's a lot of stuff I need to ask you. What do you need to ask me? I have nothing to talk to you about. But we do need to find a place to rest. A relative of mine operates an inn nearby. You are both invited to stay there with me. Yeah, it is different. A new fury containing the fairy. We got the uh, sylph last time, I believe. So you really don't remember anything? How many times must I repeat myself? I've never met you before. I didn't even know your name until you told it to me. That was also the first time I traveled to the Soul Plains. I guess you're really not faking it, huh? Why would I do something like that? Are you mistaking me for someone else? Hell no! Your fairy's name is Kiwi, you act all proper when you're actually super dirty, and you're stupidly serious. You're a fencer who dreams of world peace, and that's why you want to wake the goddess. Does that about wrap it up? I'm suddenly very uncomfortable right now. Please, don't come any closer. <laughs> ah, jeez. Don't look at me like I'm some kind of pervert. Then you definitely must be a star. That's not it at all. I want to know why you're still here, Tiara. Because before, I saw you... talk to you about something privately yeah sure thing take a look at this huh it's a newspaper so what look at the date yeah it's outdated what about it <sighs> he's dense as a rock jeez uh, do I really need to spell this out for you this is today's newspaper, you idiot! We were sent back in time! Huh? It's the only explanation that makes sense. We had everything we needed to perform the ritual and revive the goddess. But after you saw Tiara's dead body, what did you end up wishing for? How should I know? I was just upset! Isn't it obvious, dummy? You wished to bring Tiara back to life! You are such a pain in the ass sometimes. <laughs> Because your wish was so strong, the goddess's power inside me responded. And so, you were brought back to the past when Tiara was still alive. Is time travel even possible? Yeah, I'm positive. I definitely felt my power activate, and now here we are. I see. So, that's why Tiara doesn't remember us. <sighs> this must be a total shock to you, Fang. Are you alright? Yeah. If we're in the past right now, we might be able to change the future. Don't you think so? Huh? Well, I'm not entirely sure about that. We're gonna change the future and keep Tiara from dying. It's worth a shot. Yeah, you're right. We can change fate. <laughs> that reminds me of what you said when we first met. You decide your fate, even if you have to will it into existence. That hasn't changed. I will save Tiara. Through sheer willpower, if that's what it takes. We shouldn't tell Tiara that we saw her die, though. It'll probably frighten her. Yeah, I figured. So you and Aaron were basically my traveling companions in your timeline. But Aaron's power activated for some strange reason, which sent you two back to the past. You had already experienced meeting me in the Soul Plains, so you had no choice but to experience it again. Do I have your story straight so far? Yeah, I'm glad you're keeping up with us. Of course, your story is nonsense. There is no way I can believe it. Well, obviously. If someone suddenly told me what we just told you, I wouldn't believe it either. But we know who you are. That has to back up our story, right? That is true. It would be easy to learn my name, but far more difficult to learn the purpose behind my journey. Then, 
Do you believe us? No, you are far too suspicious. And when a suspicious person tells me a suspicious story, I must regard them with suspicion. Look into my clear, pure eyes. Are these the eyes of a suspicious person? Much as Your eyes is. are surprisingly bloodshot. So, yes. <laughs> oh, shut up. I'm just really stressed right now because of you. <clears throat> I suspect you are trying to trick me. Hmm. What if we told you something about the future and it came true? Would you believe us then? It depends on what you told me. And even then, I would be cautious before making any rash decisions. All right. Hey, Fang. After we met Tiara for the first time, we went to Crevice Cave, right? Oh, yeah. Listen up, Tiara. We're gonna head to Crevice Cave. Why, you ask? Because there's a fury hanging out there. I also know about the trap that's waiting there, so you better believe us once I prove we're telling the truth. Whether I believe you or not, I do need the Furies, so I shall accompany you to the Curvice Cave. All right. Whoa. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I just realized something groundbreaking. Wh what? Why does your face look so serious? Couldn't I use my knowledge of the future to score some extra? Ah! Uh, of course, a this would happen. And break in the dough. At first, we'll make accurate predictions. But once we've built up our reputation, we can just make stuff up and no one will know! I thought you had something serious to say! Jeez, you nearly gave me a heart attack! Stop saying stupid things and let's go! They are definitely suspicious. Ah. Then, let's head out for Kravise Cave as soon as we're ready. Yes, sir! Huh? Hey, look over there! Isn't that the girl who has no idea how to talk to people and all she can say is kill, kill, kill? Uh -oh. Ethel! Ethel? You mean that girl in the weird getup? Huh? She definitely wasn't wearing that before. Hey, why don't we try talking to her? What? You know she's just going to attack us for no reason again. Just chill out. I think we made a bad first impression. If you can find some common ground with your enemy, they're sure to open their heart to you. Heck, maybe we can convince her to join us. Hey, Ethel! She is wearing a completely different Kill, thing. kill! Kill, kill, kill! What the heck, Fang? Is this what you meant by finding common ground? Kill, 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 kill! Kill, kill, kill? Kill, kill, <laughs> kill! What's with this moron? Is this some kind of bad joke? <coughs> Is what Ethel said. She totally just destroyed your common ground! Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill? Kill, kill. Ethel says, don't take another step, creepo. Um, I must also ask you not to get any closer to her. I'm afraid you may be a bad influence on her. Let's go, Ethel. Try not to look at him. <laughs> kill, kill, kill! Kill, kill! <laughs> How long are you gonna keep doing this? Seriously, you should've just smoked now. That's creepy. I'm starting to wonder if I should be around him myself. <laughs> no, he's just a moron. No, he's really just a moron. Uh, I saw it coming, I did, and I regretted it. <laughs> Welcome, what are you looking for today? Uh, what did I say last time? Oh, do you sell anything I can use to make collecting curies easier? Please come back again soon. Same response. Figures. Oh, what a strange customer. I don't honestly care. Well, I'm gonna skip these. This is going to be slightly different. But I don't wanna actually, like, miss them. I have the strangest feeling that I shouldn't miss these things. Yeah. Well, on the bright side, I still have all of my furies. Eh. 
Wait, but... Oh, we did go here. Uh... Right, I was going to... I forgot what I was going to do. But I was going to change out Sylph. Uh... Let's get this. Let's uh, do Nellie's. Since she's over level 6. Here we are. Kirby Cave. There's a fury deep within, and I have no doubt we'll run into Ethel again. If both those things happen, you'll have to believe us, right? What do you think, Huey? As far as I'm concerned, your suspicious levels are maxed. You won't sway me with such minor details. This is what Kiwi said. Are you her translator now? The last fury that we collected was that. Get ready. That was my own fault. Executed. My turn. Seriously, you actually survived that? Really? You're this much stronger than the other ones? Fine. Yeah, I'll stop missing. I hardly ever miss with Fang, but everybody else just misses. And three measly WP. Wrong button. I don't remember which way it was. like the similar enemy to what was here before. I hope I don't get all the way down here. Let's go. Get ready. Executing the <sighs> bulky, irritating. Why can't you just die? Basic, oh, okay, this is right. If it was a basic dash where you just run faster, you could actually use it much better than this. You noticed how Ethel's clothes changed, right? We're supposed to be in the past, so why were they different? Yeah, that is pretty weird. The fury you also found was different too. When we run into her up here, maybe we'll learn something about this whole time travel thing while we're at it. That would be a dumb idea. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Thing you don't do when you're in the past. Basic rules of time travel still apply. <laughs> you guess that's an old save. Alright. Once again, I'm gonna call it an episode here. Since we are 35 minutes in, and I don't want it to be too long, because you know how every time you go into an event, so they just keep talking. I bet you if I do something now, it's going to end up being like 50 minutes, but 
I don't want that. Anyway, that is all the time we have for this episode of Fairy Fencer F, Advent Dark Forces. If you liked this episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all on the next episode.